Well, thanks for being with us here on Morning Live. Uh, well, we started a conversation before the break. Uh, let's take another bite at it. Uh, speaking to lawyers, uh, Oluyemi Orija, who's the founder of Hedford Foundation, and uh, Ito Onulwa Awolu, who is the operations manager of uh, that same foundation, talking to us about how they've assisted inmates in the Nigerian justice system. So, uh, ladies, welcome back. Uh, hopefully we have a better connection this time around. So, if I can uh, just come back to you, you. Olu, Oluemi. Uh, your organization, uh, this was only registered last March, but between then and now, you've already helped 121 people and got them released from prison. So, Talk to us about that and um, your job, because it sounds almost as if, you know, you have to really do some backbreaking work. And what do you attribute this great success to? Okay, um, I attribute it to a committed and passionate team, because um, in our team here, everybody is passionate about this work. And you'll be surprised that we are all women. And this, the reason is uh, most men, you know, driven by the fact that this aspect of law practice is not very lucrative. So most of all, it is not, there is no money in it. You have to put in your own personal money. And this team has not just rendered their time, but even at times they put their own money to ensure that we get some things done. So at every, once in every month, we go to prison, and part time, where we get to prison, we take as uh, many cases as 40, 50 cases, and we take these cases amongst ourselves. Sometimes some of our, our volunteers also help, and this has um, made us and make possible for us to achieve that number in such a short period of time. Sincerely, it is if you're not passionate about the job, if you are not um, if you're not committed to it, and if justice is not something that um, grips your mind, it is not something you want to do, to do because there are lots of challenges on the way. Um, the system alone is a challenge to us and uh, the fact that funding is also needed is also a challenge. So there are lots of challenges on the way that is um, obstructed. I, I believe that would have done more if not for these challenges. But of course, we are hoping to do more and we are still very committed to the job. Itunu, uh, Oliemi says that this, of course, uh, most men don't see this as very lucrative, hence they shy away from it. So is this a deliberate drive uh, for this to be a completely female-run organization one? And she also says it's a free service that you render. But how then does your organization get funding uh, considering all the legal costs that need to be paid? Okay, I'll start with the first part. It wasn't a deliberate one to make it um, an off-male, a off-male law firm. We, we tried um, employing the male, but most of them don't want to take up the job because there's no money to it. So for the organization, getting funding has really been very difficult. So the little that we have that has been um, helping us go with what, um, helping us do the job that we have been able to do has come um, for profit organization, which is the Effort Chambers. So Effort Chambers has been a very strong backbone for the foundation. And I said that we have few individuals who appreciate what we do here in Nigeria, who support us. And we also write um, pro proposals to organizations who fund um, our cause will fund courses like hers. So most times we try to send our proposals, but unfortunately we've not gotten any yet. And we are hoping that soon enough we'll get more funding so that we can do more, reach more places. Because there are some days when we will have more cases, but few hands to do the job. Probably they are in different courts. So funding is really, really a problem for us here. And not so many people appreciate you trying to do prison reform here in Nigeria. They feel you are trying to get out prisoners. They don't understand that what we do is for us to even have a safer society. Well, ladies, uh, wish we could speak more, but unfortunately, out of time, lost some time there due to the technical difficulties. But hopefully, we'll have another opportunity to engage on these matters and the fantastic work that you do. Thank you so much uh, to lawyers Oluyemi Orija, the founder of Hedford Foundation, and uh, Idunu Awolu, who is the operations manager, for talking to us about how they have assisted inmates in the Nigerian justice system, and they render the 
the service free of charge. Thank you so much. And uh, this as we continue to celebrate women. Right. It seems as though that is uh, where we are going to have to leave it.